Hey there, this is Zach Lovett to show Flow, a new extension for After Effects by myself and RenderTom. Flow brings intuitive controls for animation curves right into After Effects, so you don't have to worry about speed and influence and fighting with the graph editor, none of that stuff. We try to make it as easy as possible so you can get your animation done fast. When you start Flow, this is what you'll see. On the left, we have our graph panel. On the right, the library. In the library, there's two tabs up here. The default curves, which are 25 curves that we've pre-selected and pre-built, and the user library, which will be populated by anything you save or import from somebody else. In addition, there's this little slider in the middle that lets you control just how big or how small each of your two panels are. If you want a lot of graph and a little library, definitely doable. Conversely, if you don't want the graph at all, you can slide it all the way left, and the graph just goes and hides, and you've got your library. In addition, the whole panel is as responsive as possible. If you want to dock this in your interface, what you can do is make it portrait. Maybe you just want to bring it right over here. Now it fits. You can bring this down if you'd like, so you can see only a little bit of your uh, library and a lot of the graph, and this is perfect. Or we can hide the graph altogether, make this even smaller, and it fits well. If we want it at the bottom, we can do that too. Quick access, no worry about the graph. It fits however and wherever you need it to. Now that we've got Flow laid out just the way we'd like, let's look at how to use it. You click and drag on the handles in your graph, and the graph updates. Easy. You'll also notice below these values here, they're updating to match where the handles are. If you hold Shift, the handle will snap to the nearest floor or ceiling. If you hold Control, it'll keep the current length of the handle, but it'll change the angle so it moves in a circle. If you hold Alt, it'll keep the same angle, but change the length. If you hold Control and Shift, it moves both handles symmetrically. Let's look at Flow in action. In our scene, we have two circles moving back and forth. The bottom one, we're going to leave that as linear, just as a point of reference. If we look at the graph, we see it moves up linearly, it holds, and it comes back down. Let's see how we can change that. I'm going to select the Ease curve in the library, hit Apply, and now it's made all of these curves this exact same ease that we have up here. All right, very straightforward. Let's try something a bit different. I'm going to scroll down to this Expo Out. Double click that. And we've got the same curve here in the graph, here in our graph editor. All right, so what if we want to make our own? Let's say here, down there, hit Apply. Looks a little funny, but this is exactly what we're looking for. Perfect. Now. Maybe you don't like our default curves, I won't take it personally, but we can go and look at our user library here, where I've imported the Ryan Summers preset pack, and let's choose this be back one. And while this is moving pretty quickly, you can see that this graph up here is exactly what's happening to our keys. You don't have to worry about trying to match the exact same speed and influence values or anything like that. Just double click the preset and you're good to go. We've added hotkeys to make this even faster. Simply hold Shift, Alt, or Control to apply the curve to the in, out, or in and out of these keyframes. So holding Shift, it's just the in. Holding Alt, just the out. Or holding Control will apply to the in and out of each of your curves. Wonderful.